Are twin flames codependent relationships or connections? Very often, when people are on the outside looking in at the explanation of twin flames as being two physically incarnated beings that share the same core soul frequency and therefore also are inherently intertwined with one another energetically. From a physical human perspective, we might label this kind of energetic interconnectedness as codependency. When we think of the word codependency, it usually carries a pretty negative connotation. We are describing a connection or relationship in which each person is reliant on the other for his or her own sense of happiness, fulfillment, and well-being. Do twin flames fall into this codependent category of relationships? And if not, then what kind of relationships do twin flames truly share with one another? That's what we're going to be diving into in today's podcast video. But first, let me introduce myself to anyone here who might be new to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Infinity, and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. Twin flames come to this earth. We physically incarnate here to shift the earth paradigm around love and relationship, specifically to teach an unconditional way of loving and existing by sharing a connection with another soul whom we are consciously connecting with and to whom we have no true separation on the energetic level because only within this kind of soul bond can every exchange and interaction between the souls truly be unconditional. In the truest sense of the word, there are no conditions between twin flames connecting with one another because they couldn't do otherwise. It is as natural as breathing and existing for twin flames to connect because energetically there is no separation between them. So by learning how to exist and even physically consciously interact with one's twin flame unconditionally, the way that reflects the unconditional connection of their souls, we then are teaching this model of, again, unconditional loving and living to collective consciousness, which results in breaking free of condition, limitation, lack, and raising the collective vibration. When people look at twin flames and call them codependents, I feel this is a natural human response to seeing or hearing about a connection that really breaks so far away from our traditional concepts of love and relationship. When we talk about twin flames being energetically connected, though, this isn't to say that they are codependent in the negative sense of the word. In fact, twin flames are here in part to teach a new model of love and relationship that is very, very different from the codependency that is so natural in today's society. Most of us are or have been in codependent relationships and connections in one way or another. Nearly all of our relationships tend to be codependent to some degree because we are taught by society to seek out partners who bridge our weaknesses, who fill the gaps within us, so to speak. 
So if we have certain forms of fear or anxiety or concepts of limitation that present themselves in the way we interact within romantic relationships, we are taught to seek out the person who complements our weaknesses. And because of this, because we are often connected in relationship with partners who complement our weak points and our strengths and bridge those weaknesses with their own strengths, we are dependent on these others. We are, as you might say, codependent within most of our relationships on the other to some degree. Now, the beautiful thing about twin flame connection, what makes twin flames so different, but also what can at times make this connection so challenging to navigate is the fact that twin flames are incapable of existing and stabilizing themselves within a codependent model of relationship, a model of relationship we often refer to as 3D. 3D based. So for twin flames, when we are existing in connection with a soul that does not bridge our weaknesses or bridge our wounds, but actually reflects them, when we show our own weaknesses, our fears, our lack mentality, our limitation mentality, our twin flame will reflect these energetic wounds and blocks back to us with perfect accuracy, very often even in real time. And regardless of how spiritually advanced we may be, because those who are experiencing a conscious twin flame path do tend to be highly advanced, very ancient souls, but regardless, it is very triggering especially as we are first confronting our twin and experiencing this dynamic of having everything within us, our light and dark reflected back to us in real time, because it calls into question this long-standing paradigm of codependency that is so prominent in our world today and in how we are taught to think of relationships and how relationships are supposed to operate and be. What our twin flame is here to teach us through this mirroring is not hyper-independence, what we often think of as the opposite of codependency. In fact, both codependent relationships and the mindset of being hyper-independence in our relationships both come from a model of separation consciousness. Because in both scenarios, whether we are being codependent or we are being hyper-independent, incapable of allowing ourselves to be supported by others, in either case, we are seeing the person we are in connection with, in relationship with, as completely separate from ourselves. We see our love as transactional, as a give and take. So when we say we are codependent with this separate other person, we say, I will give this to you and I will get this in return. And the other person is saying the same. Whereas if we choose to be hyper independent under this model of separation consciousness, we say, okay, this is a give and take. So I am not going to give. I am going to mostly take or mostly reserve my time, my energy, my resources for myself because you are separate from me and I don't want you to take from me. However, twin flames are actually here to teach one another and in doing so to teach collective consciousness something entirely new, to step completely outside of the realm of separation consciousness and into what we think of as unity consciousness or oneness, the consciousness of oneness, which is actually the truth of our soul's existence and connection with other souls. 
Because in truth, we are not separated from any other person, any other soul we interact with. There are degrees of soul separation, so to speak, in this overarching web of consciousness that we exist within, but we are all connected to other souls, to every other soul, to some degree. The ones closer to us in this metaphoric web could be thought of as our soul family. These are the ones we are most closely connected with at the energetic level, our soulmates, as we might say, both platonically and romantically. However, only one soul, our divine counterpart, is no degree of separation away from us in this web of consciousness because they share our core soul frequency, sometimes called a soul song. We exist together simultaneously because we originated together. So this soul, this mere soul, so to speak, this twin flame soul will reflect to us all of the areas of our life through which we have been living in a consciousness of separation. Whether this is in our relationships and connections, seeing love as a transaction, as a give and take, or even if it comes to our life purpose, our passion, are we seeing our life from a mindset of limitation and lack, a mindset of restriction? Our twin flame will call out any of these so-called blockages that are truly just negative habits of thinking that become absorbed into the subconscious and present themselves as these blocks in our energy field, preventing us from fully reconnecting with ourselves. And along the twin flame journey, we continue to release more and more of these blockages within us on a daily basis until finally we reach a point where we are inner dependent. We are no longer living from separation consciousness. We don't see other souls as completely separate from ourselves. And we know that by establishing an inner dependence, a reliance on self, by deepening our levels of self-love, self-trust, and self-support, we are actually supporting the whole. We are loving the whole, but not with the conditional concept of love as a transaction. We are offering unconditional love to everyone and everything we touch through self-love, which all forms of love energy are the same. So this love expressed inward This inner dependence, so to speak, that our twin flame teaches us is identical to love reflected outward. It causes our entire being to be magnetized with love energy. And this is the standpoint from which two twin flames can also fully stabilize a physically manifested union with one another because there are no longer those energetic blockages preventing self-reconnection, preventing each twin from establishing the inner dependence that allows them to then become interdependent with one another. So truly, twin flames are here to tear down old paradigms of codependency coming from separation consciousness, creating this paradigm that we have to either be codependent or independent. And twin flames are replacing that old way of thinking with the model of interdependency coming from inner dependency, coming from total self-reconnection. So if you are resonating with this material and you are someone who believes that you are a twin flame or on some kind of a twin flame path, I really recommend exploring my twin flame seven chakra clearing subliminal because these energetic blocks we've been discussing 
are truly just subconscious belief patterns that become unconsciously absorbed and formulate themselves into these energetic blocks. These blocks prevent us from fully connecting with our inner, most authentic, most soulful and passion fueled self. And in this self disconnection, these blocks also at the same time can present as disconnect or perceived separations between our self and our twin. So by clearing these blocks from the inside out using a tool such as this subliminal, which addresses the unconscious belief patterns in your subconscious mind and uproots them, releases them so you can remagnetize your energy with love, which acts as a highly magnetic pulling force between yourself and your twin energetically and ultimately pulls you closer together in the physical as well. So the link to this twin flame seven chakra clearing is in the pinned comment and description box under this video. This comes from my website soundandsoulful.com. So as you are looking at on the screen, on this website, I've created over 100 subliminals for all areas of life. So I have subliminals for physical appearance changes, for mood shifts, for mind power, for love and relationships, for material goals and manifestations, and of course for twin flames specifically. The link to this seven chakra twin flame clearing is in the pinned comment and description box under this video and you can try it out completely free by creating a free trial account on my website. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I really hope this podcast was helpful to you. And if it was, please be sure to leave me a comment. Let me know what resonates with you personally. Also, be sure to subscribe to this channel or double check that you are subscribed because by being a subscriber here, I'm actually able to pick up on your energy virtually and this allows me to channel more relevant videos, information, and even twin flame readings and messages for you and your specific situation. So to experience getting more relevant content and readings, be sure to subscribe. I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful rest of your day, and I will talk to you again in the next video.